Yo, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a combat log timer in Minecraft Bedrock. Um, I'm going to be using the same mod which I used in my last video. Link in the description for it and I'll probably link a tutorial on how to download mods on PlayStation Xbox in the description. Okay, let's get into it. <clears throat> Uh, first thing, I will demonstrate how to do it. So, this is my alt account. He's, he's teleporting right here. That was, uh, I was testing something. So, when I punch him, it says, One minute combat log timer started. You will be punished if you log out right now. You can change that to wherever you want. But, there's, you see the timer at the bottom? If they log out within that time, a minute, they will be banned. That's my system. So let me show you again. Let, you see it resets if they punch again. So it just keeps on resetting it if they're in combat. And then it doesn't spam the chat or anything. Let me demonstrate how it, it works. So... Let me just remove band from everybody. Okay, now let's have this guy, Nor, kill me real quick. Oh, oops. Let's have him kill me. Actually, no, let's have him punch me. He has a combat log timer now. Log out. Nothing happens right now. But once he, once he logs back in, It'll say Nor has been banned for combat logging. Ban duration 17 hours. You can have a warn system. You can have anything. I just have it banning right now. Ban system right now. Um, I'm pretty sure I made. Uh, I'm pretty sure I made a video on how to make the warn system. If I did, link in the description. If not, there'll probably be another YouTube link on how to make a one system. Well, let me get into the system. Let me get into the command box now. So you need a, a repeat always active command uh, command block. So to get command blocks, you do slash get that as command underscore block. And then repeat always active tag at a. Scores equals combat equals zero. Remove in combat. It'll just um remove the tag. So we need these tags so it doesn't spam the text right here. You see, if they have this, it doesn't send this message. But this one, this one, repeat what is active. Tag at a scores equals combat equals zero dot dot sixty. Add in combat. That should actually be one. Not the zero. Repeat always active. Scoreboard players remove at A. Scores equals combat equals one period period 60 combat one. This just removes one combat scoreboard every second. You need this tick delay. This is very important. If this, if there was not, if you don't add this tick delay, it'll, it won't go by second it'll like milliseconds it'll be really fast uh. okay and then repeat always active scoreboard player set at a tag equals damaging entity combat 60 this is a part of the mod that i'm gonna link in the description this is basically whoever is damaging that entity gets this tag automatically and we add a scoreboard of combat. We add, we set their scoreboard to combat of 60. You can have this whatever you want. I 60 is one minute. You have two minutes or whatever. And then chain conditional always active message at A. Tag equals damaging entity scores equals combat equals zero dot dot 60. That should be one actually. 
Uh, attack equals explanation point in combat. One minute combat log timer started. You will be punished if you log out right now. That's just warning the user so they don't log out and get banned without them knowing. And then repeat always active. Message at A scores equals combat equals one. You could do zero period period one one. Or no. It should be uh you can have it as zero. No. Oh uh, just have it at one. Your combat log timer has ran now. You can now safely log out. And then we have a tick tick delay of fifteen. So basically, since we have a tick delay of twenty over here, we have it fifteen. Delay of fifteen, so it only sends one message by the time they remove that last score at the end once this gets removed it won't send it and then we need a repeat unconditional always active test for at a type equals player spawn scores equals combat equals one period period 60 that will just test for any put oh god um that was an accident. Uh, that was just um, that's just testing for a um. Uh, this is part of the add-on. So once the player spawns in, they get on. They automatically get this tag, player spawn, and if they have a combat score of one dot period period sixty they'll get detected ignore that part i accidentally copy and paste that chain conditional always active say at a tag equals player spawn scores equals combat equals one period period 60 that will just that's testing for the player we tested down here in this command block and then with that player name it says has been banned for combat logging ban duration 17 hours you can change this to whatever and then turn conditional always active tag at a scores equals combat equals one period period 60 tag equals player spawn and ban so they get banned once they rejoin and then this one is just teleporting that banned player to get a tag equals ban um uh semicolons uh i don't know what this is called but these and then one and then this that's just teleporting them, teleporting them up one above this command block and then re repeat unconditional always active score player set set at a type equals span band 60. um i don't know why i have that one actually that's supposed to i was gonna make a band system but um i just i decided to um finish this video instead of doing that that would have taken a lot longer so to get the display the combat log timer display it'll be in the last command block uh, tutorial i had for the updated kill death kill streak kill death ratio you can do starting at kill streak so starting at kill streak do score this right here name objective kill streak oh, no kill streak yeah starting right here actually so text slash n combat log timer and the score name objective combat whatever this is your scoreboard right here whatever scoreboard you're using you have to put right here and then text KDR. This will be in the link. Uh, this will be in the description, so you can see this easier, or in the comment section. Well, make sure to like and subscribe for more command block tutorials like this. I'll probably be up uploading a lot more that helps you um, further improve your server. Well, see you in the next one.